hey, we've been talking this week about what it means to be equipped to love one another. Um, it, we've talked about the primary way that the early Christians were marked and stood out among the culture was the way that they loved one another earnestly, fervently, intensely, in such a way that they completely stood out among their culture. It, it was marked um, in them as they loved one another, how different they were from those around them. And we are experiencing a time right now where um, it's a perfect opportunity for us to stand out among our culture in the way that we move toward people and love them in the name of Jesus. When we go to the grocery store and look the cashier in the eye and say, how are you holding up? How's your family doing? Uh, that's a great opportunity to love practically. But I wanna share with you some more ways that might be uh, helpful suggestions from someone who has recovered from COVID. Um, and these are suggestions that are helpful for that particular illness, but also for any kind of illness. Um, and they're also great suggestions just to move towards someone. And I wanted to share these with you. And I have a couple of preface, prefaces, prefaces? I have prefaces. One, these will not strike everyone as helpful. That's okay. These are suggestions. Um, many times we are not sure what to do or what to say. And so our instinct is to do nothing because we don't want to say the wrong thing. We don't want to do the wrong thing. We don't want to offend. But when you do nothing, you communicate nothing. And so we want to go down swinging. We want to go down swinging. I want primarily to motivate us to re-engage this week in practically loving one another. So listen to what Michelle shared um, as she is recovering from COVID. She said this, God wastes nothing. He takes bad situations and brings good from them. I pray my suffering is not wasted. Pastor Neil always points out the building is not the church. The people are. And I'm happy to say I have experienced this throughout the past month. My friends and family have been so good to me. And I put together a list of some ways to help someone with COVID. Most of these I experienced, others are ideas based on what might be needed. First, she says, pray hard and often throughout the day and every time you wake up at night, pray. So yeah, the first thing I would suggest is that you pray for the person. Ask God to give you wisdom to know um, how to care for them. Ask the Lord to wake you up to pray for people, um, to bring people's names to mind. So pray. Secondly, check on them daily and I would say check on them often validate their feelings don't grow weary of hearing them say they're having a bad day <laughs> check on them um, third offer to listen when they want to vent don't offer suggestions all the time don't don't give your pointers three tips to get through it just listen offer to listen if you are a spouse of someone who is ill or recovering sit with them if they feel bad Give them permission to be sick and rest. She said, don't shame them for being sick so long or passive aggressively make comments about it. Don't even joke about it. No one wants to feel better more than the sick person. Another suggestion she had, grocery shop. If you can't afford to buy the groceries for them, offer to go and they can Venmo, Venmo you the cash. If you are um, a good friend of the same sex, offer to pick up sensitive grocery products um, from the store. I don't think I need to explain that one. Offer to pick up prescriptions and take them to their house. And if you're at a store, text them really quick and say, hey, can I pick up a couple of things for you? Take them dinner. It's safe, just leave it on their doorstep. She says, take them breakfast to freeze and eat when ready. She said also give gift cards like DoorDash or Grubhub or Chick-fil-A, any place that delivers. Good, that's a great suggestion if you don't live close to a person who's sick. Um, most of those gift cards can be bought online and emailed. Um, she also said offer to take them Starbucks or boba tea or even a sonic drink. Maybe even um, social distance with a mask while they drink it. Like sit on the front porch or something. It's lonely, she said. It, you feel like a leper. So figure out ways to connect um, with them. She said also to offer um, help often and give them ideas of what you're willing to do. Encourage them to accept that help. 
that last one that I just said is so wise of Michelle to say, um, and just to elaborate, many times saying, let me know if I can do anything, um, it's kind of a veiled way to look thoughtful and not have to be because I can tell you from listening to friends of mine who are widowed, they, they're they so weary, they won't remember who offered to help with anything. So the best thing you can do is to say, um, instead of saying, hey, if there's ever anything you, you need, let me know, um, say this, today, can I bring dinner or can I grocery shop for you? Give practical options for them. It's a great list and I'm sure you're listening and you're thinking of other things you've done or have been done for you or people you know. So if you're watching this or listening to this um, on one of the social media platforms, put those suggestions in the comments. Let's, let's help each other figure out how to do this. Two quick things I would add, two practical ideas I would have, add. Um, handwritten notes are a dinosaur. They are a lost art, but they are gold. Handwritten notes. Um, I would suggest that. If you don't know someone to, to write, like you might want to write someone in our church, email me, marcy at grandparkway.org, and I will give you some names of people to write. The last thing I would suggest, get on Nextdoor app. A great way to love your neighbors, not necessarily your Christian neighbors, a great way to love them is through Nextdoor app. A couple of months ago, I got on Nextdoor app and I just said this, hey, it's a hard time. Everyone's struggling. How can I pray for you? I got 35 responses of people with sincere, heartbroken requests for prayer. Let's be salt and light in our neighborhood. Risk putting it out there on social media. How can I pray for you? Let it be said of us, see how they love one another. I love you ladies, and I hope this was a helpful list of things to get us out there loving people like Jesus has earnestly, fervently, intensely loved us. Thanks.